Hello everybody, David Hedge here with Two Edge of Smash Gaming and today we look at a game from IDW Games that puts us right into the middle of the siege that has befallen Gotham. We take on the role of one of its defenders in Batman the Animated Series, Gotham Under Siege. Let's unbox it and see what it's about. Alright, here we have it, Batman the Animated Series, Gotham Under Siege. Let's bust this open and see what's inside. Let us know what you think of the video as I bust open this film. All right, so I'll get this busted open here and let's see what's in here. All right, so I'm gonna throw that to the side and let's see what we got. So, first off, love the artwork. I've always been a fan of the Batman animated series. All right, so we have the rule book here. Rule book has a decent amount of page. Oh, that's so pretty. I like that. It's actually very color coded and everything here. Pretty cool. All right, so we got that. Uh, we have the buildings. All right, these are like the insert tab A and the slot B, which for this kind of game is cool. I know I mentioned in the other one, like uh, for Tower of Madness. I'm glad they didn't do that with that one, but that's a different structure and everything. This mainly these buildings will be destroyed. So having this. They're not too bad. It looks like it's going to be very easy construction on those. So we have those. We have our thugs, our henchmen, and our ninjas. The progression of this is really like thug to henchman. Okay, you get a trench coat, you get a machine gun. But henchman the ninja, ah, that's, that's got to be some extra training. That's extra credit going on. So we have that. We have the Gotham City Tracker here, which keeps track of your... Uh, your casualties keeps track of your explosions and your bat signal. Which the bat signal is pretty cool because it can raise and lower uh, pips on the dice to accommodate what you need it for. And we have the little markers here and we also have these special ability icons for the five different characters. You got Batman, I'm Batman, Robin, Batgirl, Catwoman, and Gordon and the GCPD. So we have that and we have the marker for the bat signal, marker for the uh, casualties and the marker for the explosions and we have the act leader which is usually going to be Batman I'm Batman alright so we have that there we have the okay we got the cool figures here let's take a look at these right now alright so let's take a look so we have Batman that's Batman uh, that's the last time I'll do that joke I swear so we have Batman here we have Bad girl, if she can be stay still, we got bad girl. We have Catwoman just ran away. Uh, we have Gordon in the GCPD, which is uh, Martinez there. Uh, no Bullock, which is fine. He's probably running off in the China shop. We have Robin, and we have Catwoman. Let me get her back from over here. And we got her there. All right. And each one has their corresponding dice. You have Batman with blue, GCPD with green, Robin with red, Batgirl with purple, and let's see here. Actually, excuse me, Batgirl is not our Catwoman's purple. My apologies. Uh, we have the yellow, which I believe that one's Batgirl, and then you have white, which are the wild dice, uh, like the extra action dice that you can have. So let's actually see if I was right. All right, so we have. Some of the character cards. Oh, we got the extra character cards here. We have the other cards here. So let's take a look. Bust this open. Let's see what's inside. There we go. We have. I and poor Robin. He starts out wounded. All right. So let's flip this over here. Uh, so we have have another Batgirl. I wonder why they did that. I must be. I got. I'm betting you this one's a print for something else. So probably messed up on this one so they gave us this one so I'll check that out in a little bit let you guys know in a further video when we do the demo so we got her we have Batman who's really cool we have Catwoman she loves to help out only if somebody else is already doing it so she has to wait for somebody to place a die on a story card before she can uh, Commissioner Gordon at GCPD which has one of my favorite abilities Bullock at the China Shop you can place a six here to uh, activate it place a six Roll two bonus die and place them on the police raid, which helps you take out villains. However, if you roll doubles, you're destroying one building. That's Bullet getting way over anxious. 
Uh, we have Robin, and then we have the Act cards. So we'll set those set real quick. And as you can see, everybody has the wounded sides there. So, so we have that. And we have the Act cards. I'm not going to go too into these because there's three different ones for each one, and they'll just well surprise for what you do. But we'll show you one that was actually on camera at one point for another, uh, probably on tutorials. So this tells you the number of heroes in the game, gives you how to set up. So you get a story card. If you're two players, you get one story card, four masterminds, four villains. Uh, the story cards are like little objectives you have to complete or else bad stuff's going to happen. The masterminds are characters here, which summon villains on their side. And then you have the villains you place around Gotham as well. Uh, and each one has different abilities that the leader can use and if you fail then you have to deal with this all right so here are the uh story cards also the character cards here Let's bust this open start a little bit uh you may notice there's a little bit of an edit thing here uh it's because my camera went dead so uh so right here we have some of the cards elect for act one so for example uh the back cave computer uh, only a hero die can be placed here and each hero with a die on this card after uh, gains two bonus dice for Act Two, so each person can place one here to activate the uh, the Bat Cave, so they're able to have this be something beneficial. But you have to draw another story card to go with it. So there's different story cards here that you have to complete. It'll be different um, every time, so it'll be like a different mixture of everything here. So we have those, and then we have. The different character cards, each person gets like one per turn. So you'll draw two, keep one, the other one goes back on top, so you can choose which one you want. So for example, like the Bat Cycle here for Batgirl, you can place a six when activated uh, by placing a six on this card, move to any battlefield, not the rooftops, because why would you put a micro, like a motorcycle on a rooftop, and defeat the tallest villain stack at that location. The villain stacks can get really big, and we'll go over that when we do the playthrough. But we have the different cards here. For each one, and if you didn't know, they have the different backs on them here for you. And we have finally, we have a cool nifty bag. Now, this is used for the villain tokens here for the henchman thugs. So you'll shake this up and give random ones because you may have uh, Poison Abbey with a bunch of thugs, or you may have Rajah with a bunch of ninjas. Who knows? And finally, we have the city bases here. Now, what building wouldn't be complete without a city block? So we have the base here that you put your building on. And on the reverse side, uh, tells you what happens in case anything goes wrong. So for example, if that building gets blown up, an explosion or casualty gets put on the tracker. And when you make your city, it's a three by three, so you got a nine square, uh, nine square block. So there you have it. That's everything that comes inside this game, and we'll go over it a little bit later as far as the gameplay, but that is Batman the Animated Series Gotham Under Siege. Well, there you have it. That is Batman the Animated Series Gotham Under Siege from IDW Games. A great cooperative game that right off the bat when you open up the box, it definitely pays respect to the animated series. I love the artwork style. Love it that they're including all the different characters as masterminds, the five different characters you can choose from right off the bat, especially Commissioner Gordon and the GCPD. I love that they're involved with the game. Especially when you have an ability that's called Bullock and a China Shop that can quite possibly destroy one of the buildings. Which is awesome. Uh, I just love the whole aspect of the game. It's one of those games where it looks like the more players you have, the more fun it's going to be, and the more challenging, which is what you want for a cooperative game. And if you love rolling dice, perfect game for you. Uh, there's the little bag that was in there. I didn't know what it was originally, and I should have read the little card that came in it. So, RTFC, I should have read the freaking card. Uh, those are replacement cards that you will have in the game. One is the Batgirl uh, character card, which they, the outlining of the original one in the box didn't work out well, so they redid it, and now you get a cool one. The other one is a card that's in Act 3 that references Act 3 instead of 4. So... That's it. Like, that was the only thing in the game that was messed up. But other than that, they already had it in there, so you're good to go. So, I can't wait to break this out. We're definitely going to do a playthrough on our YouTube page soon. Right here on our YouTube page. Not on the YouTube page. We're already here. And it'll be a lot of fun. And I can't wait to go through it and learn it with you guys. 
So thank you guys so much once again for watching our videos. Make sure you check out our Facebook page at facebook.com backslash to edge smash gaming because we cover a lot of stuff, not just what we're doing, but others as well. If it's gaming related, we'll definitely get you in the know. Uh, also, make sure you subscribe on the bell. Uh, click the bell up in the corner so you never miss an upload. And make sure you let us know what we're doing right and what we're doing wrong and what we're doing in between. Definitely let us know. We would love to hear from you. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. Make sure you keep checking out everything we're doing. And don't forget, we will be doing a charity event coming up very soon. We'll be having all the details for that. We are going to do a massive giveaway. I'm going to let you know this right now. It is going to be insane, and I can't wait to go over it with you guys. So thank you so much for watching this video. And until next time, take care.